Hello, just a quick overview of a few sleep solutions that I've been using for bikepacking. On the left is kind of a uh, minimalist option here that I have, which is a Z-Pax Hexamid pocket tarp with doors and a Bora Gear Cuban bivy. In the middle, I have a Plex Solo by z -Pack, and I have a tarp tent Rainbow Li. Just to give you an idea, we've got about 16 inches of total pack length on the Rainbow Li, and then we progressively get smaller to, again, I don't have it quite in there, but it gives you a general idea that it's something less than 12 inches on this side. I throw them on the scale, get a quick idea with all in weights. This includes the uh, stakes as well as any poles required. So you can see the first solution, the combination of, of uh, bivy and tarp is about just a little bit under 19 ounces. The z -Pax tent is about 20, a little over 21. And the tarp tent we have is about 25. Now I'll set each up and give you a quick overview of what that looks like. All right, I have all three sleep options set up. On the left here is the uh, Hexamid pocket tarp with doors and includes the bivy. The middle one is the Plex Solo and on the very end is the tarp tent Rainbow Li. Recall that this first option, the ultralight, is just the tarp, z -Pax tarp with doors, as well as the board gear bivy. And you can see um, I suspended that at the top to keep the uh, netting off my face. It uh, does have a Dyneema floor in it. The board gear um, top part of this bivy is water resistant but not waterproof so potentially you could get some moisture in it uh, i've not had any issues with it so far but you know i suppose if it rains hard enough you could get some splash up in that far corner but overall this is a really has been a good ultralight option and a very packable option for me so far the plex, the plex solo is my newest tent um, i've had limited time in it but i have been out have been able to bike pack with it. I've been rained on in it. Uh, everything was fine. I didn't have any condensation issues with it. Uh, this gives you, a, gives you a general idea about the size of the area to store things as well as the interior volume of it as well. This last one again is the tarp tent uh, Rainbow Li. Again, a little bit of area to storage. Maybe not quite as big, but pretty close to the other options, so we can kind of see that as we look down along the way. Um, a little bit different design here. This one has, rather than a single upright, it's got a long, almost a long pole that traverses the entire thing, and another cross pole at the top. So it's semi freestanding, I guess. Uh, not, obviously not completely with all of the uh, stakes required but it does give you a pretty good interior volume. And again, I've my trials of this so far have all been good. No condensation or any problems inside. So I guess the question always is, what is the best option of these three? Of course, it all the answer is always going to be, it depends on what your use rate is. But for me personally, if I'm going to look at ultralight options, obviously this is a nice option this combination, uh, z -Pax tarp plus Bora Gear bivy. Uh, what's nice about that is you can use them independently. So if you just wanted to use the, wasn't gonna rain, you wanted a quick setup, you could just pull out the bivy and sleep that way. Have some degree of bug protection and a little bit of layer over your uh, sleeping bag or quilt. It packs very small. And for me, that's a pretty, uh, important thing maybe more so than the weight factor it's just nice having something that uh, um, doesn't take up a lot of space in my bag um, i guess we'll go next to the tarp tent the tarp tent li 
overall, I think it uh, probably is the best design tent here in terms of um, the overall usable space in terms of headroom because of the way that um, overall the pole goes over the top. Um, I like that it comes down a little bit lower in the front in terms of uh, the vestibule area. I, um, it's just small design things like a little magnetic clips are nice. It makes it easy to roll up the sides. And it also has a couple more ventilation near the top that the others do not have. But again, I've not had really condensation issues with any of these so far. Um, the Plex Solo, I think it's just a really nice overall tent. And frankly, if I had to choose just one of these, it would probably be the Plex Solo. And the reason is it just uh, gives you a, a great amount of protection it packs up just a little bit smaller than the Rainbow Li. The, the biggest challenge with this particular tent is just that with that long pole, that gives you a little bit more headroom. It's a little bit nicer. It's just a little bit longer. For me and my situation, that's not really a big deal. Um, what you find sometimes is with cyclists who have small, that are smaller and have smaller frame sizes, they may not have enough length for that pole, like in a um, frame bag, but it works fine for my application. Um, again, overall, they're all great options. Uh, just some small nuances between them. In terms of setup, I would say that the um, easiest and probably the fastest is the uh, Tarp Tent Rainbow Li, and these two set up very similar. Um, uh, basically you uh, stake a couple of the uh, backside corners and you can add the pole and then uh, stake the front side and they just go up uh, very quickly as well uh, but overall all three great options for bike packing I'm sure they'd be great for um, backpacking as well and again just depends on your use case thanks for watching